Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I'm going to be showing you what I got in this month's glossy box, so that's April. Um, first things first, it is um, one of those months limited edition packing. Um, this is by Polo. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Um, lots of different flowers, so I'm liking that. Give you a quick look at the box. Obviously I've been in there. I can't, you know, if I'm going to do an unboxing, I do tell you, but I couldn't wait this month. And uh, there you go. Now, I know this month's box is getting quite a lot of hate from what I'm seeing online, um, on both here and on blogs that I've read, because it's not high-end. They're all kind of drugstore, mainstream, average price um, products. I understand people's anger, because, you know, when Glossy Box was originally pitched to everybody, it was... Um, the whole thing was it's high-end samples and obviously I wouldn't say anything in my box is high-end so I understand why people are a bit PO'd um, but I'm happy with my box um, I do think Glossy Box is most definitely getting a lot less high-end um, you know back when I I've been getting it for forever now it feels like I'm gonna say yeah I'm going to say I've been getting it forever. <laughs> no, I've been getting it since 2011. So, you know, I've had it a while and I got the high-end things and I got the low-end things. Um, and it is getting a little bit hit and miss, you know. I did get the Burberry lipstick, which was beautiful. But I also got that awful eyeshadow palette, which had like nine different shades of green in, that the retail price was 2 99 So you kind of got to take the rough with the smooth. Um... I'm liking it at the moment. Next month I might hate it, but this month I'm okay. Um, and for that rambling on, the first item I've got is this Eco Sunsense Daily Face SPF 50 with an invisible tint finish. That looks like that. Um, that's exactly what it says on the tin, I imagine. I've not opened it because it's one of those where you, it's, even though there is 10 grams in here, you know, the moment you click that off, it's going to go and just chipping out. And it's literally going to be a one-use thing. Because they're normally quite runny and they just pour out. Unless you store it like that, I suppose. But yeah, um, 10 grams, um, 75 grams is normally £18.50. Hopefully, if the sun stays like this, I would get to use this in a couple of weeks. Um, because my normal moisturiser has an SPF in already. The next item, which I'm loving... Um, is by Nip and Fab. Now, the only place I've seen this for sale is in Boots, but um, you must be able to get it online and things. Um, now, I was really happy with the flavour I got. I got Coconut Latte, because um, most of the ones I'd seen online were mango, and oh, do not like mango. But then when I read the um, book, or oh, horrendous piece of paper that replaced the nice card that we get used to get, Oh, that smells so good. Um, I saw that there was, some people got pistachio, and I love pistachio, but get over it. This smells amazing. It smells like holidays. Holidays, that's what that smells like. It's a holiday in a tub. Um, I really like the size of it. It's uh, 50 mil. It's perfect if you're going away for the weekend. Um, and it smells like holidays. The full size is 200 mil and the full size costs 9.95. So again, it is a cheaper product, but I like it and I say it smells like holidays. Uh, the next item I'm not in love with, um, I'm pretty much the same as most people. I don't really like perfume samples. A, because I'm fussy when it comes to perfume and uh, B, they're normally crappy one mil things. However, this is so cute and pretty, and it matches my top. Um, it is so Alexa purple, Elixir purple by Yves Rocher. Um, we had, oh, I had a lipstick from them in a glossy box not that long ago, which I love. This, however, I don't. Um, it's very cute, and the full size that's 50 mil is 44 pounds. The sample we've got is five mil. I don't like it is <coughs> sorry I don't really like it it's not offensive um, it smells like something I know um, it smells like maybe a sweet from my childhood 
there's something there that it's very florally, it's very light. I imagine a lot of girlies like it. Um, but there's something there, put it on my wrist. And actually as, the longer it's on, the less offensive it is for me, but it reminds me of something, like a sweet or something as a kid. Also, I'm not getting the hype of coloured perfumes. You know, I know Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga did a black one and now this one's purple and there's quite a lot of hype around having coloured perfume. Like, no one's done it before, but when I'm talking, a good 10 years ago, it must have been, Lancome, um, Miracle, or Miracle or whatever, Mirage or whatever it was, Miracle, I'm sure it was called Miracle, was pink. And the liquid was pink, so I don't, and that was 10 years ago, so I don't quite get all the hype about having a coloured perfume is. But, not loving it, so more than likely going to end up giving to one of my friends. Um, <laughs> the next item is a Model & Co Cheek and Lip Tint. Um, love it. It is full size and it's £15. And it is in rosy red, and it looks like that. I've got it on my lips. I've got quite a lot of lip balm on, so it's very sheer. But yeah, I like it. I really like the Benefit one um, for, for um, cheeks and lip. They have in Superdrug a range, and it's either called So True or Too True. Um, it's normally near the checkout on a tower thing that spins, and it's always three items for £5. And they do a cheek and lip tint. Um, and obviously it's three for £5. Don't like it on the cheeks at all, but it's really pretty on the lips. Um, and you know, that's kind of normally my high end, low end, and this one kind of falls in the middle. And yeah, it's really pretty. Um, doesn't stain your fingers as much as the Benefit one does, so I like that. Um, and it's quite thick, so that's good for applying. Well, I've only put it on my lips, but I found it a lot nicer to apply. And then the last item, which again, love, um, is a full size Essie nail polish and I got Nice is Nice and it's kind of like a grey lavender colour and I just think it's so pretty and these are $7.99 so you know good nail polish and I know I use that everybody knows Essie polishes are really good quality and they normally last really well on me so all in all Love my month, this month's box. Um, I understand why people are, are complaining because they wanted to have Burberry in every month, but uh, it's only £12. So I'm happy, but obviously if you're unhappy, you have a right to vent, my friend. Um, so that's why I've got my box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye-bye.